When students at Bryant University return to campus in the fall, they'll be under new leadership. Longtime President Ronald Makeley is retiring after 24 years in his position. His last day is June 30th. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh sat down with Makeley to reflect back on his successful career in which he says the students and faculty were like family. When Ron Makeley became president here at Bryan in 1996, it wasn't a university, but a college. Where I'm standing was a parking lot. Over his 24 years here, he's expanded the campus by 500,000 square feet of building space. And it's not just about building its physical footprint or the educational experience here. What I learned in his exit interview was it was about making the reputation of Bryant to what it is today around the world. I realized that even when it's tough and it looks tough, there's a bright side if you can weather through and have a strategy. And, and we tried to do that here. President Ronald Makeley thrives on change. After all, he represented Rhode Island in the U.S. Congress during the fall of the Berlin Wall. That desire to improve and adapt is what made the Navy veteran so successful at the helm at Bryant University. I may have been a little naive, but we had five empty dorms. And when I arrived, a deficit of $1.75 million. And so in my first year, it was really how are we going to survive? Under his leadership, the number of applicants has quadrupled. The endowment has nearly doubled. We sat here in the Makeley Garden, but it was the backdrop of the Academic Innovation Center that is the real shining example of Makeley's legacy. It's not the fact that they have just knowledge, but they have this innovative design thinking characteristic teamwork approach and they're great people with great character. He said that's why he's pleased to see in-person learning return in the fall, but he won't be telling his successor, Dr. Ross Cattell, what to do. Instead, Makeley will be embracing the next of life's transitions, which will include much more time painting. The best painters were, when you look at Monet, he was almost blind when he painted those water lilies. He was in his 80s, and uh, they're some of the best paintings. So. There's still hope for us old painters as we pick up the brush and try and make that fateful stroke on a blank canvas. In Smithfield, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.